Well, Wooly here. That's your bet. Oh, and, <laughs> and me, Steve. Are you sure? <laughs> Pretty much. I should have said, well, Steve there <laughs> and Wooly. <laughs> Guys, uh, it is, and Bruno's here wagging his tail, as you can see. It is, believe it or not, still the summer and the last time we made a video like this we were in i think i was wearing shorts yeah. and it yeah. was it was like 27 degrees today it is about seven degrees and it is the beginning of august and it is freezing and it is knife talk it's another video it's the second part that you never wanted to see it's knife talk stay tuned let's go bruno see i actually have nothing in for this bit so yeah. it just then cuts for me doing like just yeah. talking what happened to the band well that's the other channel Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I love the bit at the end. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Go for it. So, guys, it is knife talk and it is unscripted. Uh, it's probably going to be rambly and it is going, it is, we are going to talk about small knives. Small knives. Small yeah. knives. Yeah, now, yeah, you yeah. know a lot about my small knife collection, so I'm going to let Steve start this off and I want you to pick your favourite knife out of that bag. Favorite knife. Yeah. All right. Well. Small right. Knife. Okay. So, there's two kinds of knives in here. Uh huh. There's bush. Well, I would call a bushcraft knife with a scandy grind on it. Okay. And then, I cannot use a scandy ground knife for anything other than bushcraft. Okay. I find now you'll probably get a lot of comments on this, but the the scandy grind is the king of the bushcraft and knife, but for nothing else. Okay. I can't. Chop carrots with it. I, just, just imagine. You can, but the carrot and exactly <laughs> flies it, off. It goes into the depth of the of the the bevels of the scandy grind, and then the main body of the knife just pops, pops it in half. Yeah, which is what it's designed to do. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's grand. So I mean, for for shaving, it's it's fantastic. Uh -huh. You won't beat a scandy ground knife. Uh, so much so that I've I I I. I, I kind of come and go with standing ground knives. Okay. But for around the house, in the garden, or if I'm just going for a walk or something like that, I never take a standing ground. If I'm going bushcrafting for the weekend, I okay. know I'm going to go, and I'm going to be carving, um, say, uh, hearth boards, and I'm going to be, I'll take a standing, okay. a standing ground knife. Right. But ordinarily, I never do. Never do. Okay, so let's put it like this then. Let's 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 not pigeonhole anything into bushcraft survival or anything like that. Let's just say, Steve, we're we're going out. Bring a knife. Pick one. What would you pick? <laughs> you know what I would pick. Probably. It's a top snake. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, it's a tops knife, but it's a nice tops knife. I have to say, guys, I I I um love hate relationship with tops definitely. Uh, what is this one called? That is the Backpackers Bowie. The Backpackers Bowie, mm -hmm. and that is neat. That is a neat little knife. The Backpackers Bowie. Yeah. So uh, it's ten ninety five, same as all tops. Uh, tops knives. Um, do you know what that reminds me of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Very, very similar. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah. See that? So apparently, what do you call a plaster scene? Well, I call it mauler. Yeah, yeah plaster yeah, scene. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So apparently, they were, they, were, they were in the factory. Some guy picked up a piece of plaster scene and, and he rolled it into a sausage shape and he did that with his hand and he went, make the shape of the hand left like that. So. Because it fits perfectly yeah, into his yeah, hand. It fits perfectly into his hand. That is that is bizarre, isn't it? No, it's not bizarre, but that that seems like I do have that knife with me. But it's it, it's a little beater, do you know what I mean? It's thick. It's in, and I love a um, a saber grind. Right. I just think that it's there's nothing I can't deal with a saber grind that I can't deal with. What's it. a saber grind then? So if we take a classic Scandi, it's a high Scandi, isn't it? It's a high yeah, Scandi. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's okay. Um, so if I'm going to, so it's either going to be this one, or yeah, we can do it's either or, yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, I love an either or as I'll well. This one, or I would most likely take one of my uh, SE knives. I'm going to take this SE4. That's an SE3. SE3. So it's even smaller again, right? Total, really, really lightweight. 
Okay. So it's it's not for for extended use. It's for you are going out, you're doing a bit of camping, you're doing a bit of carving, whatever. But you won't be you won't be carving hardboards with it. You know. It's uh, it's a great little full prep, uh, cutting string. You know, you're setting up your tent or whatever. Yeah. It's this just goes full flat. Just a great little knife, yeah. Or this one, I love this one. Which is my uh, my SCPR four. Oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Get it away from me! The worst knife I've ever held in my ah. Oh. oh, I love this knife. Bruno, what did I tell you about that knife? Remember? <laughs> Show me it. There you go. Uh, 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 and this is this this is controversial. I have to say, it. controversial video. My yeah, God, yeah, yeah. it is a was a controversial video. This was the only knife that I no, it's not the only knife. This was probably the biggest reaction to a knife that I have ever had. Bruno, that's enough now. Really, yeah? Yeah, I, I put this in my hand and I went, ah, this is pointless. This is absolutely just not for me at all, right? Even though, right, this this is similar to this. It's, it's Bruno, it's similar in a lot of ways to, to, to the cap heart, right? Uh, in, in shape. And yeah, everything, yeah. and it has the stippling on it, which is similar to to that other knife you have there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, show, just show, show me that one a second. This, this, this one. This one. Yeah. Whereas this feels really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. This just feels ridiculous. It just really is is not something that I got on with at all. And I used it once, and I went to myself. You know. I would rather be without a knife than have this. No way. Yeah, I'd rather not really. But you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you might be in a bit from that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine never having a knife. Jesus, it's like never having a hand. Okay, but no, I just didn't get it, and and I used it a little bit, and as soon as I started to use it, it started to annoy my hands, and 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 straight away, and like, and you know, look at those little precious girly things, you know. So, yeah, I. Can't, I Love it. I don't get it. I I, I don't get it. Love and it. and I I'll I am just gonna move swiftly on to mine and forget that that ever happened. <laughs> uh, and this is the same. We we have exactly the same polar reactions about whereas this I, Steve actually we traded for this uh, and I love this knife and you love that knife mm, as well. Yeah, it's good. Uh, but when I lent you this, mm -hmm. you didn't see the point. You just didn't no. didn't get it, guys. This is the Spider Co Bushcraft UK, and this is the K Bar uh, Cap Heart BK62, which I love. This is yeah, these are noise, yeah. two very different knives, mm -hmm. very very different knives. Full flat ground, Bruno. We'll be using one of these to skin you next, and this is obviously uh, this is uh, a Scandinavian ground. Two opposite knives as yeah. well. Even yeah. when you put them in the, in your hand, this one's heavy, this one's light. You know, different thicknesses. But no, definitely for me, it's either this one or this one. That's that's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I have a box of knives here, and I don't use them. I mm -hmm. I keep them for for specific reasons. I keep them for mostly because there's a story with them. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Is that dog okay? Cooter. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Jeez, still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know. So uh, this being the most comfortable knife I have ever held or used in my life, you know, and this one, which took me a little while to get into, I have yeah, to say, yeah. uh, but I just love it. I love everything about it. It has that, like, I am going to go and live in the Canadian wilderness and trap beaver, you know, 200 yeah. years ago feel to it. Tell you, I love that knife as well. But, like I said, this one, right? Yeah, it's 10.95. Yep. And you've got that hardwood, it's a, uh, what's the wood on the scales there? It's um, walnut. Walnut, yeah. Which is what you get if you buy a condor knife. Well look, here. But you could buy four here, here. condor knives. This exact condor knife. Yeah. Right, yeah. so yeah. this is the thing, right, even though the, 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 the backer is a superior knife, handle is nicer on the, the, the wood for the handle is nicer on the condor but the handle on the condor is ridiculous like yeah, it's, yeah. that's that's a, that's like for a child yeah that's yeah. what that feels like I don't know if you've ever tried the the condor cap heart guys but it feels like something that was made for a child it really does it's so small I was gonna try and put this knife in <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and Bruno, <laughs> who won't go away. Will you go? Go on, go play with your stick somewhere else. So, right, hang on. Too many sheets, not enough knife. Having said that about the um, the Scandi grind and the the saber or the fall flat, right? So what I'm saying is that the saber and the fall flat are a much better utility knife than it is to carry this around. Yes. Uh, to carry a Scandi ground blade around because as soon as you go to uh, do any kind of field prep at all, no, I know there's people swear by them. Uh -huh. You know I me. Mean? I know that. It's, it's all personal preference, but I find that they're useless for anything other than crafting wood. Okay. Now, having said that, I'm going to take that guy. I got this guy here. Uh -huh. right? This is the one from Field and Steel from uh, Steve Armstrong. And um, this is the Delta, I believe. All right. And this one here is very thin. Oh. So even so though it's, a it's got like a high Scandi grind and it's very thin, which I find is the sweet spot for an all round although it's scandy ground I can still use it for everything yeah but you, you're not going to be beating stuff with it bro. you're not going to be battling with it being that oh you have no, okay. I have yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. What, okay. what, 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 what he claims what Steve-O claims is that he has found this here to be the magic size goes on your belt goes in your pack but it's big enough to handle that everything. kind of that kind of um, treatment okay but yeah. only if you're battling something that's three inches uh, yeah, but sure, like, <laughs> I mean, like you know if you're going to be doing feathers like yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know generally you got your, your pencil ledge your pencils your thumb and your wrists so you're never really supposed to go on to get in your wrist anyway do you know yep so that should yeah it should cover you know I mean? yeah, 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 yeah 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 so if you're battling something that's bigger than this you sh you're doing it wrong anyway you're yeah. using the wrong tool so no i would agree with that so basically if if i am battening something it is all is going to be at the most a little bit more than half the thick half the width of, of my blades okay. half the width length sorry sorry so if for example i'm not picking up your stick bruno you normally batten something like this yeah right yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. makes sense guys yes we mm -hmm. do agree with battening by the way yeah your, your knife should be and which is which is why uh i am i am always going for your 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 full tang knife seeing that i have never broken that nothing that's not full tang no but I've never tried. I think these people that break full tang knives are trying. They tr they they set out and it's often in in the, in the title. But look, listen, this is what I have in my pocket, right? Yeah. I don't use a hatchet as we've been through before because yeah. I have have a bigger knife with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, a like a like a Bowie knife or something like that. And I'll generally batten it up with the bigger knife. Aye, and then and move then I'm on to this. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. But yeah. but. Contradictory to what I've said about Scandi ground knives, I found this to be just in the sweet spot where I can and use it. And what thickness is everything. that? I think she is three mil. Is she? What is that? That's even thinner again. Yeah, that's supposed yeah. to be two mil. That's two mil. Yeah. So I think I've got three mil. That's three mil. Are you sure? Right. Okay. No. That's. What's that? Three mil. Three mil. Uh, yeah, so this is thinner. About the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, this is in the sweet spot where it's uh, it's small. I'm really impressed with it now. I have to say, I really, really like it. It feels really nice in the hand. That, yeah, that, that, yeah. The, the grip is really nice. It's just the right thickness, whereas, whereas, where's, where's the other skinny knives? Like, no, I mean, handle-wise. Handle-wise. Yeah. This thing's ridiculous. I don't know if, if any of you have got this old hickory knife. This old hickory fish and game knife or something this is supposed to be the old hickory version of the cap art to stop you cutting down your old hickory um, butcher knife but that is pointless mm. pointless that is something that should be in 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 in, in my uh, my knife block at home uh, it is really don't see the point in that at especially all especially for a woods knife like it's so so thin so thin like and I nearly destroyed this thing and I also nearly destroyed that thing as well when I was doing doing my uh, my, my videos on it which I get a lot of stick about yeah, you know yeah. because people would say oh you should that knife's not designed to be doing that well look the the, the, the videos the, the knife testing videos are set up in such a way that every knife performs the same tasks yeah, right so yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually bent that one yeah. like it just bowed like that and I went right well that's that done uh, and uh, when I took it out, it just went straight back to shape. Now, tops knives. I had the tops. I'm going to say a butterfly. 
Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Yeah, yeah. And I and it is much thicker than that. And I battened it, and it bent and didn't go back. Yeah. It just bent. Tops have the differential heat tree. That's ah. that's their that's their okay. thing, which means the spine is soft and the edge is hard. Right. So it's supposed to allow for some spring, so that it doesn't uh, break. It doesn't break. Well, this bent and didn't bend didn't back. back. Didn't go back at all. So, yeah, you want to get. Uh, well, I, ha I have to say that, that tops were brilliant about us. Absolutely brilliant. It's so like I, I did it all through the tops Facebook page. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was it was very easily sorted, and they sent me another one, uh, which I give away. So so Scandi knives then pure pure bushcraft knives for me. Right. Uh, just just favourites. It doesn't doesn't need to be that. Uh, so. I've got another one. I've got this one here, which is a little beauty. Uh, Jamie made that for me in Trisco Forge. Oh. I asked him to make me something approaching this, approaching that knife there. Right. With the same kind of dimensions, but with a much more rounded out handle, like a barrel handle. Okay. And I said, and uh, and uh, and I've got a full flat. That's a that's a that's a class knife. That's a nice looking knife. Oh, it's class altogether. It's uh, it's got it'll do everything. It'll do everything. That is nice. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. Do you know what? Do you know what that sort of reminds me of? It it it, it looks like the Joker knife. Oh yeah. You know the yeah, Joker yeah. Uh, cap art knives. Yeah yeah yeah. I've got it. Uh, what it calls um. Oh yeah. Some, I've, some I've, I've got the Nomad. You know the the, yeah. the the big guy. Check that out, guys. That is that is made by uh, a, a blacksmith friend of ours. Yeah. Who who made all this stuff you see hanging up over the fire? Hand. That's hand hammered on an anvil. That's hand oh, hammered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand forged. He hand for this. He's, he's 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 like a mad scientist, isn't he? Uh, he's doing some crazy stuff at the moment where he's extracting bog ore. Yeah, and he's he's, um, he's extracting the metal from the soil. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, metal particles doing, from yeah, the yeah, soil, yeah. and he is forging it into knives. Yeah, so that's what he's doing. It, the clo he goes to the bog. He finds bog ore, and then he forges um, billets, and then forges them on into knives. Yeah. That is so. It's, it's un Good unbelievable. Good man, Jimmy. Good man. That is so unbelievable. So I went down for a, I, my wife bought me a weekend in the forge for Christmas, I think it was, and I went down and I made a knife. Me and him spent the weekend in the forge talking, and Having I, a crack. I actually happened to make a knife in the process, and I made that knife there. Oh, mm. that is really nice. And see, that's I didn't well. make it. I didn't make it in Scandi. It's a good, like a high saber, so I could have made any knife I wanted, and that's the that's the that's the kind of that is really one. comfortable as well, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, smooth. What is this bone? No, it's antler. Antler. Antler and uh, witch elm. Witch elm. Yeah. And I left all the forge marks in, and um, no, what happened was I took it home, and we did so much yapping that we never put a, an edge on it. Oh. And when I took it home, I took it to the stones. And I sharpened it up, and then I went off to England, and I used that knife on the course. Right. But I had, I hadn't tested the edge, and the edge was like a big fat convex. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't shave anything. Okay. It was like skipping across. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you weren't. Along. Yeah, you yeah. weren't getting the angle. So on. I had to take it back, bring it home, and to take it back to the stones, and like. Tighten, yeah. Tighten okay. Everything. But you, you shave, and you could shave. It's very, very sharp. And it's fifty-two one hundred. I don't know what that means. Fifty-two. Is that a year? It's um. Is that is that a, is that a bottle of wine? <laughs> it's <laughs> is that a number on a box box fast bottle, eh? <laughs> it's a, it's it's a it's a steel. That if you give it the right heat treatment, it's like a super steel. Right. Okay. And Jamie, as you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, he's good he won't he won't rest until he finds the best the best uh, heat treatment that he can do with the equipment that he has. Yeah, of course, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, Roy made that for me, Roy from Gallagher. Oh, right did he? Yeah, yeah. Jesus, that's a nice one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a beauty, yeah. Yeah. Roy's great at uh, leather work. If you're looking for Tell me this. Leather work. Yeah. Right, this is, sorry, sorry for in, interrupting the advert for Roy. There. That's okay. <laughs> this this is what I have been finding, yes. right? From, and this, this is not knife related, it's more sheath related. From wearing and using this all the time, Yeah. I, do not like a sheath like this anymore. Okay. Because the bloody knife is too hard to get out of it. Yeah. This has got a nice proud handle. You can just grab it and it comes out straight away. So yeah. I've been finding that when I'm using this, I'm I'm, I'm like it's on my belt. I'm having to Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well I get my fingers in and pull it out like that. Whereas whereas this guy He just out he comes. 
But isn't it the style with the the like the the, the, the Nordic traditional kind yes. of tukos? They would be buried. Yeah, they'd be buried in the sheet. Buried yeah, yeah, to yeah, about yeah. there. Yeah. And and it did take two hands to. And that's where this whole thing then came from. Where if you put a lanyard hole and a lanyard, what you do is you grab the lanyard and yeah, you walk it, and walk pull it, it out. out with the uh, walk it out with the lanyard. Yeah, yeah. So but, and I I am not a lanyard guy. I'm not I'm not one of these people who likes. I know you like lanyards on your names. Yeah. But that would make sense on the spider cup, which has a lanyard hole. So yeah. you just just a little lanyard this long, just a little tiny lanyard. Yeah, a little tiny one. And then like, you like, just, like something like this. Yeah, and then you just gra grab a hold of the lanyard and you can walk the sheet. Now now the handle's up. Yeah. And you can take the. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So that's nice. That's yeah. nice, Jimmy's knife. Both of those oh, are nice oh, names. Them back. So that's that one I made, which I absolutely love it. I wouldn't sell that for any money at yep. all. Would, that wouldn't wouldn't be interested. So out now, bushcraft knives that I would only use bushcrafting is the likes of these guys here. That's a Castrum, and this that's another Essie, is it? Uh, that, no, that's uh, Davy. That's Davy Crawford. Oh, is it? Right, right, right. Yeah. So that's me. That's that is a beautiful, beautiful look. Look at that. The Castrum. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Dainty as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's thick. Yeah. How thick it is? I was going to say something just like yourself. Dainty and thick, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should see him tiptoeing through the forest. <laughs> Mincing. <laughs> <laughs> that is nice. I like that. And I love the curly birch as well. Yeah, beautiful. This, that is what this used to be like. Mm. Not, not this one. But this is the way that the spider coats used to come. Yeah. With that handle on them, oh, but then yeah. they all, they all, whatever way, this this pin is in whatever location is that people were battening them and the handles were cracking, mm -hmm. so they actually stopped making them and put this uh, this polished G10 or something. I think that is on them, but the handle would have been exactly the same, but just curly birch. You know, oh, that's nice. Yeah, or Harrington. It's not the. There's a large felt one as well, large isn't there? Large felt, it, it, but that's a big old, The large felt knife was for all the world, like one of these, you know the Ray Mears wood lower type of type Okay. Of job. S same kind of dimensions. But not same the same dimension. price point. They're, no, you, you, no, they're, no. they're a mass produced thing, you can yeah. get them, it's not yeah, like the yeah. wood lower. Which so, is, which Roger is Harrington, he has a, 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 a bison, bison bushcraft. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he yeah. makes these. In England? Yeah, yeah. He makes these guys and they're custom knives, so they're custom prices. Okay. This is the production. Knife. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So I love it. I absolutely. I, if, I, if I'm out bushcrafting from carving. You have two of those. I have two you? of these. I've got the one with the black handle, and I've yeah. got this. I've got the, the curly. But that's how much I love it. Uh. Love this knife. Until this one came along. Until that field and steel one came along. This was the king. Right. This was the absolute king really? in, in bushcraft. Yeah. And then, if you're looking for hard use. Where's my thing gone again? No, oh, it's gone again. Look, Jesus man, there's like I don't 50 know. sheets here, and you just where? Keep, where? where there's only one empty sheet. It has to be that one. It has to be that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is like a survival Davy's knife, right? Right. It's the, it's the forest. Um, oh, the forest. The forest I had a forest. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I had a forest M. It's a, yeah, this is a forest M. So this, uh, did you one go missing? Uh, no, I give it to somebody. Oh, good, because I might rob you. <laughs> <laughs> Was it me? No, 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 no. No, no, I got this. It. This is this is Davy from uh, from Brock from Brock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Who is who is only about fifteen miles from here, uh, and he makes really nice knives. Now, where is my Davy knife? Where where is my Brock knife? As you can see, this had a rough time before I got it. Right. You see, uh, when I got it, it was like this. Where did you get it from? I, there was a lad I picked it up in a trade. Oh, we, okay. We, we were doing a trade, and he said, "Hey, look, do you want this?" I said, "No, no, no." He goes, "Just I'll throw you in a Brock knife." I went, mm, "Absolutely." Okay. So it's it's uh, it's I mean, really and truly, it's all you'll ever need. You know what I mean? But again, it's that Scandi grind. So, uh, so working with it in the forest, great, no problems. But look at the shape; it's a lovely sweep on top of it now. Yeah. But um, so this is this is for comparison. This is Davy's own design. This is the Forest M and 01 Tool Steel, and this is something. Now I'm 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 just going to go out here and say that this was something that Davy threw together for me because we, we had been discussing this, and this is actually the prototype Red Branch knife that that we Rock. never never Rock. got round to 
that we never got round to finishing. Mm. Right. So it's not too far. There's nothing. Yeah. Well, this this was the thing. So this this is so this is the red branch knife, and this is the this is the the forest knife. Okay. So what you might be able to see, I do like that little sweep on the handle, and Bruno. <laughs> He just, just hold that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to be loved. What did I do? With? Jesus, I really need like big, big. Bruno, come on, go away from it. I need like big tabs on my knife so I can pick them out of the box. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want you to. I wonder why the the the, the red branch knife is is that shape, guys. Look. So the whole idea of the red branch knife was it to it was to be like a more affordable version version of this of of the Spyderco knife and it doesn't have the hole. I don't... I know Spyderco knives are, are, are known for, for having the hole it's in the blade, the yeah. and I can see that in a, in, a, in a folder and everything, but in a fixed blade, especially something that is potentially going to be survival use, it is just going to get caked up with mud and blood and guts of your skin and animals. And this is a Scandi, it's a Scandi grind, and that is only three mil. So that would be the same thickness as your... Yeah. And this, they're, they're about three mil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a hard use. Even a three mil, you oh. would consider that a hard use. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. So my my original thought that th this, if this was to go any further, that this the the the, the, the handle would be rounded, that it would be sanded down here for for thumbs, and that this would be three point five to four. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to go again. I, I I found that if you go too this thick with the scandy ground, with the scandy ground. You're going to go into the territory where it's unusable. Forget about field prep. It's unusable. Well, no, this no. is the thing, right? So look, look here. This is, this, this was my very first custom knife. I know we've spoken about this before. Mm -hmm. And this was made by AP Designs, right? And uh, when I got this made, it's a six mil Scandi ground hammer forged blade. And it is ridiculously beautiful. It's beautiful. But yeah. it's too thick. Yeah. What I found with from use, no, I haven't gone back. I haven't looked at it in a couple of years. What I found was that from from use, I struggled to do anything because it's so thick. Because once once you get in past the the, the shoulder on that on that, oh, true this thing. No, no, once you get past the shoulder on that actual uh, yeah. grind, that's it. Boom, that's it. You know, yeah. I, I I remember trying to make bow drills and being like, Jesus Christ, I just couldn't get in there. Couldn't get in there, pull a bloody uh, 10 quid more out of my bag, you know, there you go, nice yeah, yeah. one and a half mil, you know, blade or whatever the thickness is, and, and it worked for that. Yeah. You want to batten a, a, a brick in half? Jesus, man, no this, this will do it every day. Look at that handle. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. It's, um, it's, it's a beautiful knife. Uh, uh, Even the shape, it's more French trapper shape than it is anything else. Yeah. Uh, but that's a drawer queen. That completely just sits in this box and it never gets used. And I actually, after our last video, I actually decided to take it out and sort of try and put it into more use. And I took it out and I used it one day and the next day I went, oh no, I'm just gonna use this instead. Yeah. <laughs> you know, cause it's easier. Cause it's easier, but. But that's, that's a nice knife as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. David does some good stuff. Yeah, he really does. We, we've been recording now for 40 minutes. That's maximum recording time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, guys, I, I don't know, the, the, the camera shut off on its own there. I don't know what we missed. Uh, but uh, this, the, yeah, so uh, I think what we're, go we're going to have to do is we're going to have to drop links below to all these local knife dealers from Ireland that, that we've been talking about here. Uh, and this guy doesn't make knives anymore either. He's gone, is he? No, he's too, yeah, he just give it up. Uh, I'm still friendly with him on, on Facebook and stuff. And he, some of his forest style knives more traditional bushcraft knives are crackers oh yeah. beautiful just just the work that these these local people or these uh, small people put into their knives is just they're not small people they're not like no they're not small like people no, no, like small they're knife small makers businesses uh, put into it is just unbelievable but that's a knife i feel like probably should should put a wee bit more dirt time into absolutely absolutely yeah. I, it's it's got everything it's got everything going for it really does it's very simple at this stage it's very simple so the, the idea was that there was going to be three versions of this, okay. right? So this would be in your most basic. That was going to cost a hundred quid, yeah. And it came with a Kydex sheet, and then you add to it. So you put a wooden handle on it. You, you do all these different things, and you get up into the more standard handmade knife, 
170, 200 pound type thing. So. Bougie, the bougie ones. Yeah, yeah. Cool. No. And the sheath is the wrong sheath for it. Now it is. Good sheath, that. isn't it? Yeah. Good sheath. And that's Davies as well. Yeah, yeah, he made that. Yeah. Yeah. I was giving him trees and he brought it down to me. Really? Yeah. Giving him trees? Yeah. What, like a plant? Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. They were alive, the trees. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that, if they weren't, there would be firewood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want to see my what was he thinking knife? Yeah, okay. and, and, and then I'll do a what was he thinking knife and I think we'll have to cut it there because, yeah, as yeah. I said, the camera oh. automatically shut down because it had been recording for too long. We've got the iconic Maura Garberg. More garbage. Know. I like it. No. I like it. No. Well, more of a survival than again. Okay, you're watching this. What is that? <laughs> yeah, what was he What is that? <laughs> what was he thinking? Is that a condor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the condor mountain pass knife. So it's supposed to be a a, uh, a, a an all-round general purpose knife. Okay. And the lad who designed it put this section on the back of it for, for scraping, scraping a fair rod, scraping wood. But the problem is, right, the one big problem with it is, right, is that that's exactly where you're going to put your thumb. Your thumb. Thing. So if, if you had it taken this and moved it up here, everything would have been fine. Okay. But he's moved it down here, and so you end up doing your fine cuts, pushing up here, which is just a bit weird. Okay, you Bruno, know? stop. That's enough um, now. Good boy. Yeah, have a look. It's not uncomfortable. So it's not sharp. It's not. It's it's nope. it's sharpened, but it's not sharp. That is a mental knife. I know. Yeah. 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 And it's like. Shush you! It's like a full flat with a secondary bevel. It yeah. doesn't. Uh, hasn't seen a whole lot of use. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, do, I, what were you thinking? Uh, what, what were you thinking? What yeah. was he thinking? <laughs> Bruno, that's, that's it. it. That and, is, and of course, so that's. And that's, comes with an absolute kick ass condor sheath uh, yeah. with a ferro rod thing on the back yeah, of it and all. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice sheath. Yeah, it's different from what I've seen in the condor stuff. That is decent as well. Mm. But uh, the mountain pass, yeah. the mountain pass, the mountain eh? pass. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so strange. What was he thinking? I don't have a what was he thinking. Do you know that? You don't? I, pro I probably got rid of it. I probably got rid of it. Because you start thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't have a what was he thinking. Uh, no, I, th I think we need to talk about this. Yep. This is, this is, no, we, we ought to talk about this in the last video. So this is the, 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 the Jari Puko 110 from, from Barstalika. And that is, that is what actually had me thinking about the red branch knife being four mil thick, right? Mm -hmm. Because this thing is excellent, but it's probably excellent because it doesn't have a Scandi grind on it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. four mil thick. It can take the abuse, but it has, did you say it's, it's a saber grind? I don't know that, that I'd say that'd be a high scandy. High scandy. If anything, yeah. Very high scandy. Right. Which I think the thicker the blade, the higher the grind needs to be. I would say. Unless yeah. you unless it's a hatchet. <laughs> you know, and you're just using them for splitting wood. But that thing, value for money, that is class. That yeah. is a good knife. Good, good, good knife. Yeah. Have you ever had had one of these? Yes, I did. I had one and then I got the fever while I was looking at something else. And I had to sell some stuff to yeah, achieve that fever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, my my thing went. This is why uh, it's exactly the same thing happened with my K bar, and I it was my first ever decent knife was the proper full on size USMC K bar knife. Yeah, loved it. Yeah, got rid of it, and then on reflection, I thought to myself, it was great, but it was just too big, so I got the mini. A and that is a mini key bar that's, that's exactly what that's it is the key bar short key bar short and it so. is mini i have to say it and yeah. i am a key bar fan as well guys mm -hmm. you know not this key bar the fighting utility knife guys probably a nostalgic fan more than anything else uh, because i was the same i had mm -hmm. one and i yeah. went this is this is ridiculous this just is, is not useful for me at all and I got rid of it. But the one I had was serrated. Serrated on the edge, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Waste of time. Unless you're cutting rope, guys, 
I, I would not go for very surprisingly effective at feather sticking if you get it just in that little groove. Right. But no. But that that's nice. That's that's like so that's, that's that's like something you'd wear to a christening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's way more practical, isn't it? Yeah. Than it the, is. uh, than, than, than the full size. I would like to see them come out with a full tang on. Yeah. Would it work? Well, have you seen the super steel one they have out now? They've got the um. I don't think so. Yeah, they've got the super. They've got the super steel version, and I've seen it being tested in the video, and they broke it. They broke it. Yeah. Well, she can break anything. Yeah. I know. Well, Boy, used to break hammers. These lads. These lads. They. They, they, they took the full size K bar UFMC normal one, put it in a log, and hit it side on with a baseball bat. That was the Dutch bushcraft yeah, 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 and yeah, it yeah. just bent. And I was like, yeah. why? why? But that's all that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah because why? that's his weak point. Yeah. 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 You know, so so knives, knives are tools at then the end of the day. Shooting them. Yeah, yeah. they are shooting them with an air rifle. Yeah. Knives are tools at the end of the day. So they are designed to, to fulfill a specific purpose. That's yeah. the way I look on yeah, it. Yeah. Right? So. If you were taking your, if, if you took a saw and started using it as a hammer, it's not going to work. No. So if you take a key bar and start using it as something it's not designed to do, it's not going to work and it's going to break. The same as you, you take, you take this like you see. You That's the Glock this. knife, guys. That, that, that was something, not, not what were you thinking, but probably something that, that was bought because I went, that is a really cool knife. It doesn't serve any real bushcrafty purpose. But you know, if 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 I needed to go melee on zombies or something, it has that penetrating power yeah. to get right into those those zombie brains. Uh, but no, yeah, no, that's cool. Hopefully I like that. The zombocalypse is coming soon. Soon. So I don't have that much arthritis that I can't actually wield all these weapons that I have. Yeah. Bruno, <laughs> what are you doing? The whole video you've been here. I think, uh, is there anything else? No, I think that's everything. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's, that's my whole bag of tricks there. My whole bag of tricks. Guys, that is, that is small knives with a small knife talk with, don't be pulling, luckily he's just gonna ruin everything now by pulling out some no. sort of beast, right? This is small <laughs> knife talk with Wooly and Steve, possibly a 40 minute long video. We, it might be a two-parter, I don't know. Guys, thanks for watching. Take stay, it easy. Stay frosty.